Greetings, Internet, and welcome once again to another episode of Insane Ian Eats Things. I've run out of a lot of the clever ways to say that now. Anyway, we're at that weird middle period between Halloween and Thanksgiving, and for some reason Christmas music is still playing in the stores. It's not your time yet, Christmas. It's not your time! Anyway, so we've got a lot of weird foods that are in the stores still, kind of some leftovers from Halloween, and also just kind of bizarre things, because one doesn't think of these things for Thanksgiving, but here we are. A couple of these are we weird that I found them. The first thing, my girlfriend came home and brought me Trader Joe's candy corn popcorn. Because she knows I like candy corn and this is weird. And now I'm kind of known for eating bizarre stuff, so I guess I have an affinity for it or something. And then another friend of mine posted online about finding these. Roasted turkey Pringles. Artificially flavored, obviously. But yes, limited edition Pringles. Roasted turkey flavor. Why the hell not? So we've got some sweet and we've got some savory. And uh, then I just also found some white chocolate peanut M&Ms. Now, I don't think this is really gonna be that different than anything else. I just happen to really like white chocolate and I really like M&Ms, so I bought them. And I'm going to have a couple now because again, I've had the white chocolate M&Ms before, probably on this show. I don't remember I've had the white chocolate peanut, but it doesn't matter because I'm going to eat some of these right now anyway, whether I've tried them on the show or not, because it's my show. I can do whatever the hell I want. And right now, I want some white chocolate peanut M&Ms. So I've got a couple here, and I'm, I'm just going to eat them because that's how you taste test. Yeah, this is great. It tastes just like the regular peanut M&Ms, only a little creamier. Just white chocolate on the inside. It's tasty, it's wonderful. It's a nice amuse-bouche for the meal coming up, I guess. So now, we turn to the Trader Joe's candy corn popcorn. This is awesome sounding already. Crunchy kernels of popcorn covered in a sweet coating that tastes like candy corn. Yes, I actually like candy corn. So what? I enjoy candy corn, it's tasty to me. Here's the trick to this Halloween treat. We start with freshly popped fluffy kernels of popcorn, give them a spirited sprinkling of salt, and then coat them in a sweet and crunchy candy shell. What materializes is a snack that so uncannily evokes a classic flavor of candy corn that it's almost spooky. Almost. It's actually on the back there. So yeah, we're gonna eat this. I'm not getting a candy corn smell off of that, I'm just smelling popcorn, but it is certainly fluffy looking. And it's also yellow and orange. Different colored kernels there, orange and yellow. Definitely a candy coating on them. Oh yeah. Oh, that's good. That's the thing, Trader Joe's tends to have a lot of interesting snack things. Interesting snack things. Sure. They seem to have a lot of interesting snack things on their shelves. A lot of stuff you won't find in a lot of other places. Different candy bars and different kind of snacks. Their JoJo's, which are their versions of Oreos, which I've tried on the show before. It's a lot of things that you won't find in any other store, and so I think they're kind of unique in that respect. I might do an entire episode of Trader Joe's snacks. We'll see. But anyway, as for these, this is tasty. I like this. This is a great snack. A nice and sweet, good crunch. It's popcorn with candy corn coating. It's great. I could eat this whole bag very quickly, but I'm not going to because I've got dinner. And by dinner, I mean chips that taste like turkey. That brings us to the main course, roasted turkey Pringles. Uh, my friend Stephanie posted about these, so thank you Stephanie for this wonderful idea that I'm having now to eat these. You know, it's Pringles. I've had them on the show before. I've had a couple weird flavors of Pringles. Let's see exactly how weird roasted turkey is going to be in a chip form, because I hear once you pop, you can't stop, but that might change. That is not a smell I have ever smelled from a can of Pringles before. I wish you could smell it with me. I honestly do. They don't look any different. They look like a Pringle. They don't have any flavor flakes on them. There's a phrase I haven't said on the show in a while. Flavor flakes. <laughs> they, don't, they don't have any of those little bitty bits on them. They just look like a regular potato chip. Well, a regular Pringles potato chip. Let's see how they taste. Because they don't smell like a regular potato chip. It smells like... Smells like shoes that have been left in a gas station. So that's appetizing, here we go. A 
I'm not getting that much of a roasted turkey flavor off of that. I'm getting a flavor. It's mostly Pringles potato chip flavor. There's not really a strong hint of meat flavored. There is kind of a, almost a different flavor, kind of like a roasted flavor, but not really intensely. They're not bad, they're Pringles, so, you know, it's a snack that I will enjoy. It's a little disappointing, actually, because it doesn't taste like roasted turkey. That's the thing I do with this show. I like foods that taste like other foods, for some reason, and it's always interesting to me when you can make one thing taste like another thing. These things taste like the thing they always taste like. They taste like Pringles. There's like a hint of another flavor near it, but it's not anything too different than what Pringles already taste like. Maybe I have to lick it. I don't know. I see them do that on Good Mythical Morning every so often with Rhett and Link, but those guys, they're food tasting professionals, so clearly they know what they're doing. I'll try it. All I got from that was salt. A lot of salt. Okay, that side, little turkey flavor. Very little, but a little turkey flavor. That's weird. That's a turkey flavored chip. It's very subtle. It's very subtle, but that's, yeah, uh, yeah. Well, that's uh, kind of a surprise. I didn't really get a lot of flavor from it from just eating it straight out, but licking the chip, I got a little bit of a turkey flavor. I don't recommend that everybody do that because it's weird when people are licking chips before eating them. You just put them in your face and consume them. That's how eating works. That said, they're not terrible. They're kind of interesting when you lick them. If you just eat them, they're just Pringles. They're fine. They don't really have an overpowering flavor, which is great. So that's another episode of Insane Ian Taste Tests in the bag because weird foods are what I do Apparently. Anyway, if you like this stuff, please leave a like, leave a comment, maybe subscribe to the channel, and if you really want to see these videos before anybody else, and also help me make new videos as well as music videos and songs, you can go subscribe to my Patreon at patreon.com slash insaneian. There's a link at the end of the video. You guys know the whole spiel, but anyway, thanks very much for watching. We'll see you next time. Goodbye! And now my after dinner. This is kind of like the sequel to that one Thanksgiving episode where I just had Thanksgiving candies. Like the gravy candy and the chicken candy. But this was turkey instead of chicken because that's more Thanksgiving. Oh, and the potato candy bar. I had that too. Basically, this episode is just reminding you to watch a different episode. I'm really good at marketing. I'm not crazy about peppermint. Uh -uh. I'm not crazy about PBJ. No way. But if you stick it in a cookie form, uh -huh. you know I'm going to eat it anyway. Oh, yeah. So come on. You can give me anything that you want. Anything that you want. Give me anything that you want, anything that you want, give me anything that you want, and I'ma eat it.